Good afternoon. Papa and Josie's home sitting with you again. She's sitting over here at a safe distance. But, uh, we've been sawing a couple trees today. Get over here. We can see what I'm doing. Yeah, but, uh, I sawed a couple of little ones that were right there, or medium sized trees, I guess. Got them cleaned up, put in their pile. And figured I'd go ahead and get that one. I went ahead and hooked the cable to it just to be on the safe side. It was it was almost standing straight up, but if you can see if it was to went that way, well, there's an electric line going across the other from one, and their car sitting over there. And might have reached it, I don't know. It'd been close. But uh, but anyway, it would have fell on their property over there. So we didn't want that to happen, so I just went ahead and hooked the tractor and the cables to it and helped it this way just a little bit. But, uh, I'm gonna try to clean that tree up and get it into that pile. Kind of starting to think my pile's getting too big for me to get the tarp on it. But, uh, they're forecasting us to get about three inches of rain slash snow here over the next seven days. Um, I don't, uh, maybe I can get that burnt out of the way. It's, most of it's green, so I don't know if it'll burn or not. I did put Rose here in with Keith earlier, and they seem to do all right, but kind of same deal with the Jeffrey and Betty over here. Wasn't any fall offs. So, not sure about them two. These two, like I said, ever since the, the second day that they actually was doing something, no fall offs. But they've not done anything since. So, not sure. But I'll try here in a few more days. I'll put uh, Keith and Rose back together to see what they'll do. And see if they do anything. Mm -mm. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting no guarantees. Huh? That's kind of how my luck goes. Like I said, they, they seem like they was wanting to, but like I said, I didn't get them fall-offs, and them fall-offs is the guarantees, and I'm not getting them. So we just have to wait and see. But I'm gonna get some stuff together here and start to sawing the limbs off of this tree here. Like I said, I don't know what kind of trees these are. They're junk. You, I, when I, we first moved down here, I, I, there were so many of them, I was trying to use them for firewood, and I was splitting with the splitting maw, and it's like hitting a piece of rubber. It'll just bounce into it and bounce out, and you, you can sit and watch your mark that the splitting maw hit it just disappear. And I've let them see it. It takes about three years for them to get to where you can split them. And then at that point, they're kind of almost like a foam or something other. I don't know, they, they just, they're junk. Uh, the the smaller stuff that you don't have to split, and it will burn after a year. You kind of let it season out a little bit. Uh, it's a soft wood, it burns really fast and don't last very long, so it's, it's just not a very good tree. I, like I said, I'm, people's told me they're gum, some said ash. I'm really not sure. I've not looked it up to see. You don't really care because it's not worth anything to me. Um, I just saw them up and burn them in a brush pile. But, uh, what? Are you wanting attention? Every time I turn around and walk off a little bit, you holler. Are you wanting attention? Are you wanting attention? <laughs> She's been playing with Char this morning. She's been playing with... Her balls over here with Char. Char, she's throwing them out over this little bank here, and Char's been chasing them. And she's got a got a big kick out of that this morning. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna get some stuff together here, get these limbs sawed off, and uh, get back with you guys here in a little bit. All right, got that tree cleaned up. All the brush piled into the pile. Like I said, I don't, it's about got so big, I don't know if I can get the tarp on top of it. We'll try though. Yeah. Saw this stuff out. I've actually never had this happen before. In fact, there's no hot in it. 
chain broke. I don't know. I've never had one to actually break before. They've come off and things like that, but just uh if you can see that or not. Like I said it's one that's it's uh broke right off. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. <laughs> uh, but uh, I got a small saw. I mean, it's not the smallest saw. It's a steel MS-171. You can see there or not. But, uh, it's not quite big enough to do what I've been doing here with it lately. It's done great, though. But... Uh, the chains are just a 16 inch, like five sixteenths bit bite on, and they don't last long. It just uh, it's too hot, I think, and uh, just using it way too much. But I'm gonna try to get this tarp on here. This could be interesting, maybe. Let's see, Let's see if we can get where you guys can see me act stupid here. Yeah, that was crazy, 
All right. Well, I'll throw some limbs or something up on top of that to keep it from blowing off, maybe. I doubt that it'll work. But uh, the wind gets up very much. Appreciate you watching. Uh, don't think I forgot anything here. But uh, according to how it rains, like I said, uh, if it's a steady, non stop rain, I won't be able to get out. She won't stay at a barn. Go figure. Uh, but, uh, every time we've tried to come out in the rain, she's always went out in the rain and got wet. And it's not the, not the best time of year for that. But. Uh, but if it rains and stops and gets everything wet and the wind's not blowing too bad, I will. I'll come up here and try to burn that and try to video it. But, uh, appreciate you watching. If you would, please subscribe, like, and uh, you can check us out on Facebook now. Put a few posts on there. But, thank you, guys.